a banana on me. Lots of it. Is it delicious? It's delicious. Hello. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make banana bread with no hands. I, well, you know, I actually do have hands, but they're going to be paralyzed for this video and in all videos. And, but we're still gonna make banana bread because we might be paralyzed, but we're not so paralyzed. My recipe calls for three bananas, but I have six old bananas. So I'm going to use six old bananas in my recipe. So, okay, we're going to peel these bananas. So sometimes bananas and I don't get, ha ha! Sometimes we don't get along, we totally get along today. Do we need a banana? is the saddest, most bruised banana of them all. But I'm still gonna put it into the bread. It's still gonna be good and delicious. Sometimes we feel old and beaten and bruised, but we are still good for themes. We are still good. We just get those extra bruises out of us. And we're still good and useful. I'm gonna use a potato masher. Mash! these bananas into little bits. Sometimes this is how we feel life does to us, right? Sometimes life takes us, mashes us into tiny little squished up bits. But you know, that's how banana bread tastes so delicious, is it has mashed bananas in it. And that's how we provide deliciousness also. When we let life mash us, then we combine with other good ingredients in life, then we give this life the best we have. We're gonna add our sugar. My coconut sugar always has chunks in it. If somebody knows how to make those not be in there, let me know in the comments. Uno. Those sugar measurements are like approximate. You can always do a little bit less. Especially because the bananas are so sweet, so sweet. Stir. All right. Okay, so we got sugar. Now we need our eggs. I will be taking these eggs and cracking them by the garbage can. I hold it with my one hand right here that can kind of grab a little bit. That's what it can do. And it can hold on to this egg, and I go. Ta -da! Some people can crack an egg with one working hand, and I can crack an egg with no working hands. Make sure no shells get in that one. So I have frozen butter. Good thing it doesn't call for soft butter because that's harder to get it in the in-between stage. So I will be melting this in my pot because my microwave is way up there. So I, I actually don't use it. I don't use my microwave by myself. If I need something microwaved, um, I'll have my husband or my daughters do it, but um, generally we just don't use the microwave. I'd like to remind people that this really isn't a cooking show. I'm just showing you how I cook. I'm sure that you're, like, you're gonna be like, oh, here's a better way to do it, and here's a better way to do it. And yes, I will read those comments and I will apply them to my life because that will bless me. Um, but I'm just showing you how I do what I do because I gotta do what I gotta do, you know? I'm gonna, well, that's melting. Butter's melting. I'm gonna add the flour. I don't know if you're supposed to do this because my husband thinks I'm allergic to reading recipes, uh, and I kind of am. Sometimes I read the whole thing, but today I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'm just gonna add the ingredients that it calls for in a way that I assume they go in. But I'm going to add the flour. Everything around here is kind of approximate, you know? I just do approximations. I love these little like things. I have a few of them to help me out. 
I've got a mirror above my stove so I can see what's in it because, I mean, most people cook like this. They can see like what's in their pot, but like mine is, mine is like as tall as me and so I can't see what's in it. So I've got the mirror to show me how melted my butter is. I got one teaspoon and my baking soda is right here. I just keep it at the ready. At the ready. I hear my butter sizzling. So we've got two teaspoons. I am exerting all of my strength to stir. Huh, huh, that was very hard. I probably should have added the butter before now, but I'm going to add it now. <laughs> that cooled it way down. Just because I'm too smoking hot, I don't, I don't cool down, but I'm afraid I'm gonna scramble those eggs if I put it in. Okay. Stir. Stir fast. Oh, I don't want to get butter on me. I didn't think of that. Okay, maybe this wasn't the right way to add them. Oh well. We're stirring, stirring this banana bread. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I prayed this morning to know how I can increase in strength so that I would not be tired at the end of the day. And I had like a vision of me like sweeping the floor. But now that I've stirred the banana bread, I'm like, maybe I should just make banana bread every day with my left hand, and then my left arm would gain endurance, so my left side of me would not be tired by the end of the day. Because I like me some salt. Buttering my pans. I don't like to get my hands gooey, so if I can avoid it. dangerous work. So I put my hand in here. I don't sometimes try to put my thumb in too. So Azula, my daughter is excellent at putting stuff in the oven. And if I wasn't trying to show my friends online how I do it, then I would have to do it because you, I know, are better than me. But I have to loop my arm. Oh, hey, girly. I hear all the girls coming. That's okay. Come on, Coco. Coco, Hi. come get some bread. She's like, I'm coming, I'm coming. I do, I close, I close the shelf by closing the door, because that's just how we roll. There we go, we're gonna let that bake up buttercup, then we'll have ourselves some delicious bread, hot huh, cocoa. Yes. Hi. Oh, did you bunk? Did you bunk? <laughs> okay, we're ready. We're ready to take this out. I've only dropped something once. I've only ever dropped something one time. It was delicious chicken all over the floor. Is it a glass pan? Yes, and it shattered. So there was glass and chicken all over. And I had like stuffed the skins of these chickens and like stuffed them with butter and spices. If I was just baking one, I would be done. But since there's two, my oven mitts are sticky, so they they help. So they're sticky, and I 
to go up to my elbows. So you'd think, why don't I just put it on the stove from this position? But I have to push up with my left hand to get to this position. And then I can just put it on my lap in this position. <laughs> okay, it smells delicious. These kids have been asking for it. It smells so good. Coco has a little piece of the other one. So we're going to be, hi. Did you see that? Reflexes like a cat. Reflexes like a cat. Hi, huh, Coco's. Hi, Coco's. You eating that bed? It's so nummy. Those kids, I'm not sure if they're fighting or fig fighting. Ah. They won't be, they'll be fighting over this bread. That's for sure. It's hot. It's delicious. Hot. Oh, you want some banana bread too? So there you go. So we can feel inspired by the banana bread because sometimes we feel like a yucky old banana. We feel beat up and bruised and not as good as others, but with a little peeling of the outside and a look on the inside and a little mashup and a little addition of other ingredients because, you know, it takes a village. We all can be delicious in our life, just like the banana bread. There you go, there you go. Are you feeling inspired? I wish this was a scratch and sniff YouTube video. I do, I just wish that. So thank you so much for watching and remember when your life gets too hard to stand, just keep on rolling. All right, you guys, banana bread.